It's sweltering. Being only steps from the water wasn't enough to cool down people without AC today. I've been swimming, just got to drink a lot of water and try to keep ice on hand. Dana lives in one of these RVs and asks that we don't show her face. We've been here for a few months. A good Samaritan stopped by to give everyone in this camp at Terry Paytas Park popsicles a welcome relief to the heat. The heat isn't their only worry. The King County Regional Homeless Authority conducted three sweeps this week. What are you going to do? Where are you going to go? I'm not sure yet, really. The city says they've had these removals on their calendar for several weeks and that they are connecting people with shelters and services as well as doing welfare checks. If I don't get into housing, like I'm going to lose like everything I own again. Dana says the shelters aren't safe for her and her dog. It is a matter of humanity. It you know, you are literally going to kill people. Kara Benin is with the homeless outreach group. Take the next step. We've got protein, we've got some snacks, we've got um, juices. Her and her daughters hand out water and snack bags to people experiencing homelessness. But we also put in cards. You are loved because I know how much that they feel like they're not loved at all. Both Benin and council member Tammy Morales say moving people in this extreme heat is dangerous. Any extreme weather, um, it's detrimental to the homeless population. They have no place to go. For now, Dana is hoping she'll be able to leave when that 9 a.m. clear out starts. We barely got the van started, so hopefully we'll be able to move it. The city tells me that tomorrow's cleanup is the last one that they have scheduled for this week. I asked how many people were impacted by these clearouts and they have not gotten back to me. Council member Morales is calling on the city right now to provide resources and shelter to people before they are displaced. Live in Eastlake, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.